Velkommen alle sammen! One of the most iconic moments in Vikings was Ragnar's death. It was also when the show started to go downhill and it was never quite the same after that. But we are here to speak about his death speech today. Uh, there has been lots of recreations and modern interpretations of it, so I'm going over those and the actual original speech that was given by the real Ragnar. So first, we have to say that we don't actually know if Ragnar was a real person. He is mentioned in many contradictory sources and the historians think most likely that he was a few different people. But we do actually have a couple of reliable sources that say Ragnar did die in England when we, he was thrown into the Pit of Snakes by King Ayla. Now, as usual, Vikings is not super historically accurate and the speech that Ragnar gave in the show is pretty much all made up. But the sources definitely say that the Ragnar did make a speech at his death. And this was actually a very common thing in the Viking Age for a dying man to recite some poetry, and I'll tell you exactly why in a minute. But first, on to Ragnar's real death speech he gave, there are two recorded. The first is a skaldic poem called Krokumol. It's supposedly Ragnar speaking, but the poem was written by someone else about 400 years after he lived. But the skaldic poems are believed to be some of the oldest and most reliable sources that we have. And this one uh, actually has a couple stanzas that kind of resemble Ragnar's death speech that he gives in the TV show. Uh, this is probably what they based it on. The problem is that this full poem is not preserved and the surviving fragments that we do have are not even half of what the original poem was. But we get the main idea, Ragnar boasts about his battles and accomplishments and he speaks about how his sons will uh, take revenge for him and how he'll be welcomed into Valhalla. The second record of his death speech comes in Ragnar's saga Lodbjokar, uh, written also about 400 years after he lived, but this poem is a part of a whole story with full context for us. Uh, it's actually what the band Vatruna used to uh, write their lyrics to the song Snake Pit Poetry. <laughs> They actually used a real source, unlike the TV show. <laughs> Just be aware that this source was written a few hundred years after the actual event happened, and the whole saga is regarded as semi-mythological. Uh, quite graphic, as you can see, with snakes digging into his flesh. Uh, there's also a very famous line in here that you saw in Vikings. The young pigs would now squeal if they knew what the older ones suffered. So in the show, when they say this, it's Ragnar's sons, and they're uh, referring to King Ayla about this. <laughs> But originally it was Ragnar uh, referring to himself and the sons were the little piggies who would squeal and quickly, <laughs> very quickly avenge him. Uh, so there you have it. That is the real original Ragnar's death speech. If you ask me, we can't be sure that he actually said these exact words in either of these poems. If you think about it, Ragnar was all by himself in England, he spoke Old Norse, and I highly doubt any of the Northumbrians were sitting around with a quill and parchment recording his last words as they killed him. So, the speeches that we have are probably made up long after Ragnar's death. However, I do believe that Ragnar probably spoke some poetry, as this was very common. It's not because the Vikings were hip-hop legends and decided to bust out some rhymes in their final moments. Uh, it was a very spiritual aspect of poetry. In the Norse religion, they believed that uh, very intense moments such as violence, altered states of mind, consciousness, um, dance or trance or death or near-death experiences, these situations you could be possessed by a divine frenzy or rage or ecstatic state of mind. Humans all around the world believed these similar types of things and that these altered states of minds was a spirit or even a god coming in and possessing you for a certain time. This is actually what Odin's name means. Uh, that's why Odin is also closely associated with poetry and sacred speech. Uh, the word Odr uh, can also mean poetry, which was one of Odin's names. Uh, this is what the Norse believed in that very intense moments 
altered states of mind, something divine could come in and possess you. And one sign of this happening was beautiful, spontaneous poetry. Uh, in the words of the dying man were believed to be sacred and hold more power in the Norse belief. So this is the reason that the young knight and so many others decided to just bust out a rap in their final breaths. Maybe it wasn't even them that decided to do it. Maybe it was a higher power taking over. But believe whatever you want. That's all I have to say for this video. Vi ses nästa gång.